In the last video, I hand painted a commercial mat for the entrance of my store. In this video, we're gonna try to dye a oriental runner using DIY paints. All right, let's see what happens. Let's get ready to paint slash dye this oriental rug that's been in my shop forever and it needs an update. It has a few stains and so we're going to change it up a bit. So I decided to use some of my paints that were getting a little bit old just to use it up because it's still usable. Um, they got clumpy. So I took some of my bohemian blue that's clumpy as you can see because this is clay based paint um, and this is a little older but you could still use it and I added some uh, fabric texture medium to it just because it's going on a rug and I want to make sure it gets into the rug and doesn't just lay on the top I added some water just to loosen it up a little bit and make it more watery like so that it will go into the rug and not to stay on the top So I just stirred the water, the paint, and the textile medium together, kind of make it soupy. I do have to say that I did mist the rug with the mister um, with water just to kind of soften it up a little bit. And then it's just as easy as painting anything else, really, you just go over it with the brush, paintbrush. And um, after that, I just use one of these scrub brushes just to make sure, again, that the paint gets into the rug and doesn't just lay on the top. So the Bohemian Blue looked great on the rug, but you know me, I like a lot of color. So I decided to add Kissing Booth, which I had some that was starting to, it was at the bottom of the container and just like the Bohemian Blue needed to be used up. So I repeated the process of the water, the paint, and the textile medium right in the container and then proceeded to blend on a rug. This was exciting for me because I like to blend colors and I wanted to see if I could do that on a rug and it turns out I could. Um, so in some areas when the Bohemian Blue and the Kissing Booth mix, um, they sort of became like a purple, which was really pretty, especially on the fringes of this, this rug. there so this is the next day the paint dried up overnight it was really great the rug is nice and it's soft and it dried quickly but I looked at the rug and I thought I felt like it needed something else so um, I added some copper patina some DIY copper patina here and there in certain spots um, if I had to do it over again. I would probably outline the whole rug with the copper patina instead of just putting it here and there. And I think I could still do that if I wanted to. But I thought this added a little bit, um, a little bit more to it. And overall, I am really happy with the way it turned out. I did not mix the copper patina with water or textile medium. I just applied it over the rug which is now um, dry, the paint is dry, and it, it worked out well. I think if I added water and the textile medium, it probably would have blended in a little bit more as it would reactivate the paint on the rug, but I am happy with the way it came out. 